people watching that because you own 26.7 percent of Kraft Heinz. Correct. It came out with a lot of bad news on uh, on Thursday with its earnings missing, with an SEC investigation being unveiled, uh, with a write down of the brands, and, and and by the way, management saying on the call that they didn't anticipate things would necessarily get better in 2019. Although they they do see improvement in in You forgot to mention we cut the dividend. Oh, I forgot about the dividend. You're right. I <laughs> forgot to mention that. Let's just get to one of the questions we have from a viewer. T63. This is Rich before Dad. What what are your thoughts on Kraft Heinz following all the current news, and what is your biggest concern regarding Kraft Heinz' future? Well, we have some very, very strong brands at Kraft Heinz, and as I pointed out earlier, the company earns about six billion dollars pre-tax, but after depreciation, uh, not after amortization, but after depreciation, earns six billion on seven billion of tangible assets. It's a fabulous business. It's, it's in terms of return on tangible assets. I mean, this is a great business. We're sitting here at the Furniture Mart, but it returns much higher at at crap. It's much higher than it is at J.P. Morgan. It's, it's much. It, you go up and down the list. There's very few companies that are earning six billion on seven billion of tangible assets. But we paid a hundred billion more than the tangible assets in buying, and and we overpaid in 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 craft. Uh, I don't think we overpaid in Heinz, and. Uh, we borrowed money that related to projections that, that uh, uh, have not been met. We earned a lot of money, but we were paying out a lot of money, so we had very little in the way of retained earnings to reduce debt. So uh, our debt of $31 billion is higher than we projected originally to rating agencies and so on, and, and uh, we need to bring it down, and uh, it comes down very slowly, I mean, uh, unless you sell sell properties. I mean, even if you cut the dividend from 250 to, to 160, that's a billion one a year. But on 31 billion, it's, it, you'll go the right direction. But there's a lot of there's 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 real debt to be reduced. Uh, a lot of people wrote in and had questions about your partnership with 3G. 3G were your partners in the Heinz deal and then with the addition of Kraft as well. Uh, let's go to T61. This is from James Shanahan. Mr. Buffett, how would you characterize the relationship with 3G today? Would you still consider additional deals with 3G? Yeah, I considered Georgie Apollo and, and his associates, but my primary contact has been with Georgie Apollo Lemon. Uh, over the years, first meeting him on the Gillette board, and I think he's an absolutely outstanding human being. And and uh, uh, and it, but a year ago, he he pointed out that the game had changed in terms of brands. That he gave a talk at some Forbes event or someplace, and and uh, that that was a full year ago. And six months ago, I told you on, on you know at the Glide thing that brands said. Uh, it's it's not as packaged goods are not as good a business as they were. The really strong brands are. But, uh, uh, you know, we've learned that over the last few years as the struggle between the retailers and the, and the brands has shifted toward uh, the retailers. And that's why Kirkland is a big, a very, very big brand. Walmart's going more to, to uh, 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 private label. Uh, uh, there's some big forces on the other side. If you've got, if you've got a good enough brand, you, you can... You can uh, you can also call your term. Costco dropped Coca-Cola some years ago. Uh, they brought them back. <laughs> do you see that ever shifting, or do you think that the the game is going to be this way, weighted towards the retailers, well, except for the biggest brands? It certainly looks like, particularly with the addition of Amazon to the picture. I mean, when you when you have Amazon and Walmart fighting, it's a little bit like the elephants fighting. You know, I mean, the mice get trampled, <laughs> and. Uh, 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 I don't see, I certainly don't see the retailer's position getting weaker. I mean, you have Aldi coming in and stronger. I, it, it just, and you got, uh, Walmart's done a very, very, very good job. You had Doug McMillan on, and, and it, but he carries around that list of the 10 top retailers from the past. and From every decade. To remind, yeah, to remind him, you know, that it, it's hard to stay on top. and and. And, uh, but now you've got two very, and a lot of other players too, but two particularly strong players that, that uh, have got their foot to the floor and, uh, and to some extent are, will be pushing their own brands. In terms of the partnership with 3G, um, 
if the situation has changed, according to both Georgie Lehman, Georgie Paula Lehman, and to you, if brands are not as strong as they used to be, and as you've said in the past, it's gotten really much more expensive to try and look at any of these other consumer packaged goods companies and potentially buy them. Does that mean the whole 3G formula has kind of been upended? Is it really difficult to make it work if you can't go out and buy another company and then cut costs? Yeah, well, the acquisition just don't work as well. I mean, for one thing, the prices got pushed up. And, uh, you know, anything, almost Almost anything at a price can be good, not everything, but anything at a, at a certain price can be bad. I mean, if you, if you pay too much, you pay too much, and, and, uh, and it doesn't, that doesn't change unless you borrowed a fair amount in conjunction with it. It takes a while to uh, uh, turn it around. I, I, I do not see, well, we're not in a position uh, to, to buy additional brands, and I, I, I have not thought it made sense uh, as we've seen both prices change and the competitive position change somewhat. I still like the, I, I like the businesses we have. Uh, very much I'll be happy to be in Kraft Heinz five years from now or 10 years from now. I'm certainly happy to be Georgie Apollo's partner. He's a terrific human being uh, and, uh, and very smart on business. But, but you can say that we both uh, misjudged the retail versus uh, brand fight as to uh, who would be gaining ground on the other. Watching what happened to shares of Kraft Heinz on, on Friday, after all that news came out, after the market closed on Thursday, I mean, stock was down 30%, and I think for Berkshire alone, that was a loss of about $4 billion. On top of your $3 billion share of the $15 billion write-down, um, I know you wrote in the annual meeting or in the annual letter about how there are days because you have such a big portfolio, $173 billion in stocks, there are days with market volatility being back that you see a swing of plus or minus $4 billion on certain right. days. I know you're like Dr. Spock. You're completely emotionless when it comes to dealing with market moves. But is there any part of you that gets a little queasy when you see that you've lost $4 billion in a day? Not in the least. <laughs> no, I mean, it makes me, uh, assuming I like the business, depends which ones they are, but overwhelmingly, uh, during the fourth quarter, the things were going down. A, they were buying out their own stock. So I'm actually making money that day, you know, without laying out a dime. Uh, and then secondly, I can buy more of some, although a lot of them I've got that 10% uh, problem with. But I, uh, I mean, there are certain stocks I would have kept buying, except I was bumping up against uh, the, the 10%. Uh, but no, I, uh, I mean, if, if, if you paid X, X dollars a pound for a hamburger yesterday and you go in today and now it's at 80% at, at of X, maybe you have a little hamburger left in your refrigerator or something. <laughs> do you tear your hair out over the, that? Or do you say, my God, you know, this is terrific. The price is cheaper. What, what else in the world don't you like to buy cheaper than, than you're paying the day before? 